Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a kitchen cabinet shelf and convert it into a pullout for about $10. this project you'll just need a circular saw, a drill, a 22 inch euro drawer slide, a two foot level, a tape measure, and if you have face frame cabinets you'll need some shim material. We'll start by removing the existing shelf. Now if your shelf is fixed you can unscrew it or if it's on shelf pins like mine is just go ahead and remove it. We're going to go ahead and take this shelf and use it for the new pull-out shelf. There's two types of cabinetry. One is frameless and one is face frame. If your cabinet is a face frame cabinet, you don't have to do this step. But if your cabinet has a face frame like mine, so it's this one by two board around the front, then what we have to do is put some sort of material here so that it's flush for our drawer slides to sit on. So um, go ahead and measure this distance here on the inside of the one by two. And um, we need to get shims that are at least that distance. So I have about a half inch. So I'm gonna use these half inch pieces of plywood. You can screw the shims on or you can use a brad nailer and attach them. Just make sure you're using the right length fastener so the screw or nail doesn't pop out the other side. You don't need to fur out the entire inside of your cabinet if you have a face frame. Just a couple shims, one at the front and one at the back, and maybe one in the middle if you're using extra heavy items is all you'll need. Just make sure that they're placed where you can put uh, the drawer slides in later. Okay, so I'm now gonna measure the inside width of the cabinet inside the shims if you had shims. And then subtract an inch from that and cut down my shelf to that length. So my inside width was 21 inches, so I'm cutting my shelf down to 20 inches wide. The depth of the shelf can stay exactly the same. You can use a table saw or a circular saw like I'm doing to make this cut. You could even use a jigsaw. All right, now I'm gonna mark the location that I want to mount the shelf at. Use a level to make sure my drawer slides smoothly later on. These Euro drawer slides are bottom corner mounts, so they work really well for this application. They're about $7 for the pair, but I think they have um, a lighter duty weight capacity. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on storing really heavy items on your shelf, you may wanna go with a heavier duty drawer slide. It's pretty straightforward to install these. The drawer members go flush to the front with the wheels on the back and I just put the screws right in the bottom. This is all super simple, um, something that any beginner should be able to tackle. What's really cool about this project is you're not wasting that shelf. So if you were to buy a pullout kit from the store, you would just be throwing your shelf away and um, it wouldn't be exactly fit for your cabinet. So on the lines, I just start my screws it's really easy to make sure my drawer slides are level because all I'm doing is gauging if the line is in the center of my screw holes. And this is the first try and it fit perfect on the very first try. Now we can make this shelf a lot fancier by building up a box around it with either one by twos or one by threes or even a one by four. Um, but I had this extra scrap piece of plywood left over from the cut so I thought you know I'll just add a lip to the back to keep items from falling off the back of the shelf. So there it is for about $10 uh, the cost of a drawer slide and a couple screws and some shims, I was able to create this pull-out shelf that's going to add so much more function and accessibility to my kitchen cabinets. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you haven't already, please take a second to subscribe for more videos like this. We'll see you next week.